I, I did run a very successful decorate the outside of the central office contest and you can see the outstanding holiday season decorations um, that the drama club from the high school uh, did for us so I, I was really thrilled with the way that turned out. Um, we are also working on a, uh, another grant besides the FEMA which is the um, it used to be called the Safe Pathways to School, Derek. I don't even know what it's called now. We call it the Sidewalk Grant. <laughs> and um, it has been a partnership with the city. Derek has worked very hard, wrote the grant, and appeared today, correct? With the... I'll be doing that tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, sorry. Um, Seems like a long time ago we took that picture. That was just this morning. Sorry. Um, so he'll be going tomorrow for, to talk to present our grant. Um, I hope you've been able to view the fireside chat that is on the district website. That's um, once again an attempt to to enhance our communication. No, I'm not by a fire, and no, I'm not chatting with anyone. I just really like the way it sounds. So um, I invite you to take a look at that. It will be updated monthly, and I would love it if the community would let me know what they would like for me to discuss. I'll be happy to, to put that input into motion. Um, we have lots going on here in the central office. One of the things that I continue to work on that's, that takes up a, a lot of time and a lot of, a lot of my um, patience and my um, hard work is the budget that we're looking on for to finish up this year and to present for next year. I've met with the, the teachers. We've talked about um, insurance possibilities, which we will get our final numbers for the insurance increase, and I'm sure there will be one um, in February. I'm going tomorrow to visit with some other schools and to talk about their consortium and you know, what types of things we can compare between the two to do, to do just a little bit of fact-finding to see about what, what is out there for um, insurance last year because of the Affordable Care Act and because of many other things locally, our insurance increased by 15%. So we're hoping that that does not increase this year to that... Um, that astronomical number. We'll have to wait and see what that looks like. I've been um, working, as I say, on the budget, and what I have found is that for, for the amendments that I bring to you next month, the, um, the increases in revenues, I believe that we can increase our local taxes uh, by about $114,000. The um, We've always been very conservative in this district in um, predicting how much money will come in in the, in the revenues, which is a very good idea. I think that this is still being conservative, but I do think because of the um, difference in our assessed valuation in the district that we will be increasing our, our revenue from taxes. Our sales tax is, continues to um, increase somewhat over the last few years, and our state funding formula has increased um, this year. The, the major drop in our revenues is the gaming tax. The, um, lots of business down in the boats, I guess, and so there's, um, we, we are not receiving the gaming money that we used to. So that has been a, a decrease. So as I look at it, I believe there's about uh, $270,000 increase in revenues. I've also been looking at the expenditures, however, and I believe that there's going to be um, some amendments that we have to make to the budget to show an increase in what we have considered our, our expenditures to be. Mostly we have about a $150,000 increase in operation and maintenance due to our unexpected um, roof, mold, gas, all of those types of situations that we've had in our facilities. So the, the total amount that I believe we're going to have to increase the budget for um, this year in, in expenses is about $350,000. So that is not in any way um, money that is not projected, that's not projected now in the budget. Uh, it's, it's not anything for us to be fearful of or to, uh, 
start uh, sounding alarm. It's just I'm going to have to take a look and my team is going to have to take a look with me and do some real figuring as to how the budget is going to look for the rest of this year and then project what we're going to do for next year. Next year the State Department is saying that because of um, different types of reasons, different types of expenditures that the state adequacy target, which is the amount of money given to every school per child that uh, take all of the districts that make a perfect score on the APR, you average that out and it comes to $6,131 per child in the state of Missouri. Next year it is pro projected that that will be reduced to $5,985. So that could mean a decrease in our state funding of about $365,000 for the district. So um, I don't know that this is going to happen. Many times um, information that comes out from DESE is either changed later on or it is, it, it's changed totally later on. However, they have warned us that this is a possibility that the um, that the state adequacy target will be lowered, so we're going to have to, to watch that closely. I, there is one um, area that I would like to ask for information from the district parents and taxpayers and students and whomever. Uh, Mr. Thompson and I have been talking about the possibility. We, we discuss a lot about winter weather, how that affects school attendance and how it affects the roads that we send our buses on to pick up our children. And I'd like to know from the community how they feel about a late start day, Stay, starting the school day a couple hours late. A lot of times if it starts snowing at about 5 a.m., that's the worst time for a superintendent for it to start snowing. We don't know what it's going to do. If you end up calling school off and it stops snowing at 7.30, then you could have easily come to school. Sometimes it's... It's just that it's snowed all night. It stops at 3. If you just had a couple more hours, you could certainly have school. But I am very well aware that this could cause some difficulty for parents and child care. And so I want to see if the community could give me some input as to what they think. Because it's really important that we include everyone in the decisions. I'd like to hear from teachers and principals and school board members as to what people think. And then um, Craig and I will... We'll look that at that a little bit closer.